uh, Amatullah says that I've never met my biological father or mother and I do not know my father's name. I was adopted at birth and given my adopted father's name, but he abandoned me. I reverted to Islam and changed my name. Is this permissible to do? I have or I have to uh, uh, keep the name of my adopted father or take the name of my mother, which I have just found out. Or can I take my husband's name as I have just got married? This question is a bit complicated. First of all, generally speaking, a person must not be called except after his father and his forefathers. So what many Muslim women do due to their imitation of the disbelievers or of the non-Muslim countries and traditions, when they get married, they change their name to their husband's name. This is totally prohibited and it has to be changed. And it's awkward when people call for uh, uh, feminism and when they call for the rights of women Yet they themselves are the first to change their God-given names to their husband's names. In Islam, we don't have this. A woman keeps and uh, uh, is called after her father and her grandfather and her family name, never to be changed into anybody's names. This is the basics. Now, if a woman was born out of wedlock, so her father did not marry her mother. She is not to be called after her biological father because there was no legitimate marriage. She would be called either after her mother's family because this is the trend that the, mother, the, the child that was born out of wedlock is not to be called after the biological father but rather by the mother's uh, family or in an, an incident where a child does not know the father nor the mother in this case he would be or she would be given a name that is general so the first name we have no problem with whatever your first name is this is okay now the second and family name it should be general so each and every slave of Allah is Abdullah. So if her name is Catherine, then her name would be Catherine, the daughter of Abdullah, Catherine Abdullah. If she uh, uh, took a Muslim name, her name would be, let, let's assume, Zainab bint Abdullah, daughter of Abdullah, or Abdul Rahman, because this fits all uh, humans, Muslims and non-Muslims. They are all slaves of Allah. They are all slaves of Ar-Rahman. In your case, Amatullah, if your mother, whom you had discovered recently, acknowledges that she had a marriage contract with your biological father, you have to be called after him. If not, then you may be called after a general name like mentioned, Abdullah, etc., but not after your husband. And I hope this, yani, inshallah, answers your question.